Hello, welcome to this video. Let's get a general and complete overview on how to use the newest Pinnacle Studio 23. Leave us comments below this video to improve our next video tutorials dedicated to Pinnacle Studio and other Corel products. Pinnacle Studio is a professional video editing software collecting several tools to create, adjust, and edit videos, slideshows, and DVD menus with the possibility to add amazing adjustments, special effects, and pieces of text inside. In this video, we are going to see all the basic features you need to know to start using this software from a beginner level. When you open Pinnacle Studio, a welcome page shows up, showing news, updates, tutorials, and extras from Corel. At the very top, you have several buttons. The Home button that opens the Welcome page and the Import, the Edit, and the Export buttons. The Import workspace is used to import all your media files to work with. The Edit workspace to adjust and edit these in order to create your own project. The Export workspace to export your final video to share and upload it online. To start a new project, just go to File, New, and then to Movie. At this point, you have to import all the videos, pictures, and sound files you need by using the Import Workspace. On top, you can use several tabs to search, browse, and import media from different sources, such as webcams, DVDs, and your own computer. On the left panel, you can set the file name, where to save media, and other options. To import media directly from your computer, you can select Scan for Assets or My Computer. With Scan for Assets, you can directly scan and import all the media files matching the folder, the format, and the projects you define. If you choose My Computer, you can browse for the media files by hand through your computer folders. Click on the interested folder first and then select all the files you want to import by adding markers in their top right corner. On the left, under Import 2, you can select or create any new collection or project bin grouping your imported media files in one place. When you have selected your media files, just go to Start Import and switch to the Edit Workspace to start creating and editing. This workspace is divided in two parts. On top, you have several panels collecting samples and templates. At the bottom, the main pro where you edit and work with your media. To start editing, you have to import files from the library panel into the timeline. You can click and drag from any project bin collection in red color, or choose to import entire Pinnacle projects from the project section in violet color. Media files imported inside the timeline are shown as rectangular objects called assets or clips, collected inside rows called audio video tracks. These clips get a quick preview of their content, such as thumbnails for pictures and video frames, and audio waveforms for sound, speech, and recordings. You can check these in detail by enlarging the AV tracks edges from the left or zooming in and out on the clips with your mouse wheel while holding down the control key. On top, you get the storyboard view that you can hide and show by using the dots button above. To get a complete preview on the clips, you have to use the player. This can be used to play back the source files from the library and the whole project in progress on the main timeline. In this case, the player shows the project appearance where the red marker is placed in time. You can click above the timeline to place the marker and check a selected project frame, or click and drag it to check the project through time without any sound. For a complete preview with audio, you have to use the pause and the stop buttons below the player. To play back in full screen mode, use the first button in the top right corner. Now let's see how to edit the clips inside the timeline. To move a clip in time or in different tracks, just click and drag it. If you overlap on different tracks, the player shows the clip on the higher track in front of all the clips placed on lower tracks. 
To cut, copy, and paste a clip, just use Ctrl and X, Ctrl and C, and Ctrl and V. You can use cut to remove a clip quickly. If you make a mistake, use Ctrl and Z to undo. To split a clip into parts, just place the red marker on it and use split clips. To stretch and shorten clips in time, just click and drag their edges from the clip sides. If you click and drag from the outer side, you will adjust the time gap between the clip and the previous or the next one. Pay attention when changing duration on sound and videos. You cut part of their content if shortened and extended over a red region with the last video frame and muted content if the original duration is reached. On the left, you have several options to manage each track. Click once on AV track to rename the track. Use the I button to hide any visual content inside the track and the speaker icon to mute any audio content from it. To change the basic appearance of the selected clip, you can enable the editing modes in the bottom right corner of the player and then the orange nodes appearing on the preview. Use scale mode to move, scale, and rotate the clip and crop mode to crop. You can also use the editor panel on the left to apply advanced corrections on placement, scaling, opacity levels, but also on color or sound appearance and stabilization. These properties change according to the kind of clip you have selected. Inside your project, you can also add amazing text and titles. From the title section of the library, choose the text template you prefer and drag and drop it on the timeline to create a text title in green color. To adjust the text appearance, just double click on it to open the text editor. On the right, use text settings to adjust the font family, style, and size. Look settings to adjust color or add any glow or shadow effect. And background settings to add any background to the text. You can use the edit window in the center to type text, content, and move, scale, and rotate text as you like. Inside the yellow section of the library, you will also find several effects and transitions you can apply to your clips. Inside effects, you get all the visual and audio effects available. Click on one to select it and check its effect on the player in source mode. Then just drag and drop it onto a clip to add it. The clip will show a top pink line indicating that an effect is applied to it. If you add multiple effects, these will be applied in order. Transitions are special effects applied at the beginning and in the end of a clip by changing the transparency level on visual clips and volume on sound clips over time. To add transitions to clips, click and drag from their top contours internally. The more you extend the transition, the more it lasts, and so it will become slower as well. In addition, you can drag and drop visual transitions with special effects from the transition section of the library. These will show up with their icon and substitute the standard one if present. To apply a transition across two clips, place these next to each other and then drag and drop a transition between these. Now let's see how to save and export your work. If you go to File and then to Save Movie As, you will save your work as a Pinnacle project in a .axp format. This saves everything contained inside your timeline, including all the options and modifications made. To share and upload your video, you have to render it with the Export Workspace. On the left, under Export Settings, set the destination folder and the file name. Below, 
Choose Format or Extension to decide the video format to use and the correct template on preset. If you select Device or Web, you pick Ready Templates to send your video to consoles, devices, and social websites. On the right, you have a complete preview on your project, which is rendered entirely from the beginning of the timeline to the end of the last clip in time. To start exporting the video, just go to Start Export. Thanks for watching this video. Visit our YouTube channel for more free and outstanding guides dedicated to Pinnacle Studio and more.